You see, man, this is why 50 Cent goes around punching people in the face. Because people always want to fuck around with the king. Then he has to whoop that ass. And then he has to laugh at him and go, hey, hey. And then get sued. But anyways, this time he's suing somebody. Hopefully he can get some of that money back. He's going <laughs> to have to pay out to Rick Ross's baby's mother for that bullshit he was doing. Anyways, TMZ writes, and I quote, 50 Cent has filed a lawsuit against the guy who he claims falsely represented to E. He wanted to do a reality show featuring a, quote, young white girl working at G-Unit. 50 claims he paid Andrew Jameson $270,000 to make deals for him, including TV projects. 50 says Jameson went rogue after his deal expired and went to E and made a deal for 50 called, quote, the unit. Jameson suggested to a G-Unit employee to get a young white woman on board to make the show more sellable. 50 says in legal documents, he was appalled when he found out, calling text about the suggestion, quote, highly offensive. When 50 finally talked to E to explain he didn't want to do a reality show, he was told Jameson had already closed the deal. 50 said he refused to do the show and it, quote, severely damaged his relationship with NBC Universal, E's parent company. <gasps> 50 wants all sorts of damages, totaling more than $800,000. Jameson's lawyer, Eric George, tells TMZ, quote, his claims aren't worth 50 cents. George asks, quote, <laughs> in fact, Andrews is the one owed money, several months of unpaid salary, and He's an arbitration to get it. <gasps> Sounds like 50 might be about to get sued again. Okay, so here's the deal. That's the end of the story. Thank you, TMZ, for the news. Here's the deal. Ugh. Hire a young white girl to be on the show. That's all the fucking chain. Wow. Well, you got to understand something uh, about what the man is saying. Basically, what he's saying is that oh, well, if this is true, to make it more sellable. That's what they said. If that's true, that's letting you know right there that Caucasian people don't generally want to watch so-called black people on television. Now, it doesn't mean that they may not go watch the NWA movie. It doesn't mean that some of them may have not enjoyed Family Matters. But generally speaking, it's, you know, NBA, no blacks allowed. I mean, I don't know what to say, man. I keep hearing all of these crazy stories about how white folks just love everybody. You know, they're like, hip, hip, cheerio. We love everybody. Don't you know? It's like, come on, man. We know good and damn well that white folks don't give a fuck about anybody. Let's be real. Not trying to be racist or anything. I'm just speaking in general here. We're just kind of like, eh, eh, you know? I'm not falling for the okie dokie. You shouldn't either. Just saying. But the point is, though, if this guy was trying to sell this show and he thinks that basically the only way to get good ratings is to put a white person on there. <laughs> well, it says a lot about white people. It says a lot about America. It says a lot about where we are in 2015. It's really a sad time in history that you can't even just enjoy a TV show for what it is without seeing somebody with pink or reddish skin it makes absolutely no sense to me but what the hell do i know i'm just a blogger and a vlogger let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels and visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more but let me ask you this can 50 cent really handle another fucking lawsuit i mean really meat magazine